Got some scrap metal here, not gonna waste anything. Somebody will pick that up. This is my mother-in-law apartment in the basement. Um, I will do a lot of work to this last because I want to get the main thing. Here's my office and uh, it's nice and cozy there with the iron heat, my food. I slept on the ground right there on the floor the second night. It was really disgusting. But my bed and furniture. But this place is fine. And this is the basement. A large portion of my possessions are tools. Had a four year hot water heater and uh, this awesome high efficiency boiler which uh, I need to get the pump to remove the water because that had rotted out and was just dripping into the drain. This, I installed a ventless gas heater, 20,000 BTUs, and it is extremely efficient heating the core of the house, no waste. Um, I actually had to turn it down because it wasn't allowing the, all the, all the heat goes, and, Heats the floor. Um, it's a really cheap floor heater. Uh, this was the old cool cellar. And it's a little dark in here, but I need to do plumbing. There's uh, This is the sunroom above us, but I need to put plumbing and run a gas line right like this for the washer and dryer that is on its way. Stuck in a canal, I think. That's the guts, not very, not very appealing down there. So I, I did one of the first things do was tear out all of the carpet. My kitchen. This is the. Oh, I can do that much better. This is the uh, uh, washer and dryer is going to go here, or not the, this is the dishwasher, it'll go here. I think I'm going to make an under cabinet refrigerator here. Stove is on the way, I'm two months away. And I'm going to build a counter there. Uh, the sink had much, much rot. I had to replace the plumbing here and install a faucet. This is the sunroom. It needs some work on the ceiling. Uh, it's not leaking anymore. I think this scared a lot of people away from buying it. Um, but it was because of the old roof, not because of the not because of the skylights. The skylights are in great condition. They're not they're not leaking. It was the old roof. Um, here are my plants from my old place, the Abbey. Uh, doing all right. I had to, they had all of the original doors. In the basement um, that were missing, some of them I've reinstalled. This door I took off, I removed, and I'm just leaving this open. This is a door I installed uh, that was in the basement. I'll strip it, and uh, but that's at the end. Whenever I can take the doors off to do that, um, I'm doing. Uh, isolating this upstairs because it's it's really nasty to uh, do all this woodwork and and live alongside of it. So um, tore out all the carpet. Um, I'm gonna have to fix the ceiling right there. We got some. Um, this is it's 92 years old, so it's plaster. Um, Got to replace that. Porch, dirty, but in very good condition. Uh, swing, swing out here, real quick. There were oh my gosh, I almost fell. There were vines right there uh, that pulled the power line down. That probably also scared people away, but um, the power company came and it was their responsibility and it was free. Looked like an expensive job. Um, this door was removed, I put it back on. So whenever I do all the sanding, I'll be able to isolate my kitchen and the mother-in-law 
apartment to contain all the nasty dust. This is all oak. It's all oak. All the original hardware is here. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, the, there's doors, glass doors, I'm sure you know, that are, are behind here. But everything is, is oak. It's just, um, uh, when they made it, they used shellac, because polyurethane didn't exist, and shellac gums up sandpaper. So you have to remove the shellac before you can actually sand. Carpet was nasty. Um, the bathroom is functional. Uh, nice sink. Uh, even a nice. I like this. This is it's all oak. Everything is oak, and uh, it's gorgeous. So, um, this is the master bedroom, right here. Oh, the Armada. Hold on, I gotta do a. Oh, yeah, it's the best. Um, <clears throat> so I did some sanding here already, just to get a little practice. And because uh, I've done floors, I've done four floors, but I've never done the molding. I've never, I've never, um, I mean, the molding, the floors go real fast. The molding is, is definitely moves a lot slower, but it's, it's, it's absolutely worth it. Uh, here is bedroom B. The other closet I'm going to fix and paint, but this I'm just going to clean because it has the original uh, wallpaper, which is in good shape, and original hardware. <laughs> uh, there was uh, the plaster came down here. I've never worked much with plaster. I was gonna repair it with drywall, but then I was worried about the drywall expanding, contracting at different rates. And I didn't wanna excavate all of the stuff above it and, and learn how to do plaster. <laughs> so I thought the best solution would be cement board, a quarter inch cement board. And then I'm using uh, just uh, high tech drywall, mud, and that will disappear, the little ledge. I need a couple more passes and it'll disappear. Oh, these things. Uh, I might even just like, give a skim coat to the whole place because it has these, these little, like they're not cracks, but it's, it, and I guess they were cracks from the original coating, um, but it's, it's adhesive. This is the cheap bedroom, but it'll have a nice, $3,000 uh, Sealy Posturepedic bed, and then my desk, I'm gonna bring my desk up, put it in there. This had some major cracking issues that I got to fix, but, you know, nothing, nothing severe. <laughs> <laughs>